scholarships in Mongolia have over 500 alumni since 1993. According to the gender study conducted by the program, majority of the male alumni were promoted to senior positions after graduation while the female alumni weren't, although 70% of alumni are women. That is why the Women's Leadership Program was initiated by Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade. Australia Awards Mongolia oversees the design and management of the program, while Zurich Foundation is the implementing organization in Mongolia. Queensland University of Technology is the In Australia component partner. The program consists of forums with emerging leaders in Mongolia, skills building seminars, networking events, industry visits, and community development projects. The program commences with the selection of participants followed by the 3D orientation retreat focused on leadership training. During the next eight months, participants attend seminars and workshops while implementing community development projects in four teams. At the end of the program, up to 10 participants are selected to attend intensive leadership program in Australia. 80 alumni completed the Women's Leadership Program in the last four years. Participants successfully implemented 16 community development projects and 26 participants went to Australia to further advance their leadership skills and expand their network. As a result, participants established a support network of leaders across all sectors and built mentoring relationships between Australia and Mongolia. Alumni now have better understanding of gender equality and women's leadership. Women's Leadership Program also inspired similar programs across the country as well as the region. My name is Tzitzek Sayhan and I'm the graduate of uh, Women's Leadership Program from 2015, which is organized by the Australian Government and Zurich Foundation. And I'm the CEO and founder of the NGO called National Cancer Council. I graduated master's course in public health and health administration in 2014. And I, I just came back to Mongolia when I saw the advertisement about women's leadership program and I thought that it's, it might be a very good idea to improve my leadership skills, communication skills. I was uh, doing my internship at Cancer Council New South Wales and this was really good experience for me and from that I thought that uh, I really need to set up this kind of organization in Mongolia. I set up NGO in October of 2014. The part of this program, um, there were 25 of us and five of us were selected to go to Australia for in Australia component. During these two weeks we had series of trainings, lectures, a lot of meetings with different professionals. We were provided the opportunity to meet some of the relevant organizations so I was delighted to have some collaboration with Cancer Council Queensland and Queensland University of Technology. During the program, uh, we were divided in a few teams, and our team was responsible for the project uh, which we called uh, Walk, Walk, Walk. So this way we were promoting physical activity. The three main things I obtained from this program was self-confidence, ability to understand others, and fundraising. I would definitely recommend anyone who wants to improve their leadership skills to have networks and have a lot of friends. My name is Yirul Zebatmuk. I am the head of the division in the Ministry of Energy of Mongolia. I finished my master's degree in Australia in 2014. After the graduation, I directly come back to the Mongolia and enrolled again to the Ministry of Energy. So in 2015, I also participated in the Women's Leadership Program, which is organized by Australia, Government of Australia and Zurich Foundation of Mongolia. Even though it's named the Women's Leadership Program, the content was necessary to me and uh, re relevant to my work and future careers. After participating to this program, I become more confident in my leadership and decision-making skills. Also, uh, I gained a lot of uh, knowledge about in working in team because we are required to implement some co community development projects together. So another important issue is the gender. 
because the energy sector is the one of the heavy industry. It's dominated by mostly the men. Because of the women's leadership program, I understand more about the issues uh, which is the women's face in the workplace. During the program, our, we learned about the gender policy, gender equality, and gender sensitivity. This knowledge is useful because it, it helps me to advocate for women's leadership. As a head of the division, I realized I should be more supportive to women to help them succeed in their careers. It's important that men know about this issue. That's why I'm very glad to have to participate in the Women's Leadership Program. My name is Ufbayar Sanjaral. I'm a Women's Leadership Program 2017 alumni and currently I'm working at the Tesla Properties as a lawyer. When I returned to Mongolia in 2015, I realized that I want to contribute to Mongolian society. I was so delighted to hear that I was selected as a one of the participants. During the program, the participants um, attended many in-class activities. Professional teachers taught us many subjects uh, including time management, project management, negotiation, and fundraising, etc. I learned three crucial things from this program. The first one is to become a lifelong learner. Even though I earned a master's degree from the Australian University, I have many things to learn. The second important thing was females as women we need to support each other. The third important thing was opportunity to unite. And if we can unite, we can make a positive change in the society. During the program, we have divided into four teams. We initiated a Safe Road to School project, which implemented at the school number five. Our project lasted for four months and selected as the top project of Women's Leadership Program 2017. I'm so grateful for the Women's Leadership Program, which lasts eight months, and it was one of the fruitful lessons I've ever had. My name is Nur Jaralhana. I'm a participant uh, of uh, WLP program, the second cohort, which is funded by the Australian government. I graduated from Murdoch University in 2014. After two years of my graduation, I applied to that program. The basically WLP program is eight month, uh, very interesting, challenging, fun journey for us. And more than 20 participants uh, came together. We learn each other, share our idea. We also learn from their authentic leaders in our society. I would like to name the networking event. Uh, we uh, basically attended the networking event and tried to raise the, some funds for our small projects. It is the great platform to meet people, to get inspired, uh, from other people. The second uh, great thing is public speaking skills. I think now my public speaking skills is much more better. Third important thing is effective communication skills and tools. I think the communication skills is very important for our personal and professional life. I learned a lot um, about these three areas. Feedbacking process is, uh, works well. They get feedback from us uh, through the uh, social media, informal discussion, also the uh, formal evaluation form, etc. I'd like to say my special thanks to the Australian government, Zerg Foundation and 
Astrala Awards Mongolia.